Hello, B Rabbit1987 of B Bunny Gaming, and we are back for another episode of Skyrim. Let's hope this time we do not run into so many issues. I have installed two new mods: uh, Drinking Fountains of Skyrim and Bags and Pouches. So that should help quite a bit. Bags and Pouches, I actually um meant to install prior to starting the series and for some reason I didn't install it not sure why but anyway we are heading to uh, Bleak Falls Barrow or Barrow however we want to say it am I headed the right way yeah I think so okay All right, so we are here. Pretty cool. Just got to go up this path over here. Hopefully we don't uh, run into too much trouble. Uh, let's see here. I should probably start putting some of this stuff in my favorites. Um, let's see. Okay, and might as well just favorite all of those. Okay, and what I'm probably going to do is actually go back down here. I want to see to make sure the fountains are in place. Okay. Yep, there's one of them. Let me see. Alright, that should be good. I got three bottles and I got three water skins. That definitely should do. Maybe I won't die. Now, I think mostly that had more to do with me having to go to jail. I don't know how many days I spent in there. That probably is the reason for me uh, essentially starving. Something else I should probably check. Um, no. There we go. Sorry about that. Something just came up. But what I was saying is, um, I want to check my magic and stuff here. Maybe, um, put some of these under favorites as well. Flames. Healing, definitely. Um, horse whistle, I definitely want to add to favorites. I think that's all I have. Why does this... I wonder what's causing that. Decreased attack damage and decreased carry weight. Um, maybe that's from being hungry. Let me see. Yeah, let's eat something. Okay, now let me check again. Nope, it's still there. This is probably... Okay, I see. This is to do with the mod that I have installed where, depending on 
maybe how big you are. Like your body weight. That's what I think. So because my body weight's pretty <coughs> low. No. Okay. Well, let's uh just take that stuff. Yeah, I wanted to add my magic to my favorites just in case I need it. Because I definitely want to try uh, playing a character that kind of does a little bit of both magic and I guess you would just call it combat. Looks like it's gonna get cold up here. Okay. Well, there's someone over there. Let's see. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna go over there and give this a try. Hmm. First, first things first, I'm going to save it just in case I die. Why, hello there. Never should have come here. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that was pretty crazy. That looked like it hurt. Let me check this person here. Arrows. I already have a longbow. Salt, I'll take. Okay. Now, I'm starting to think this might be a little bit too easy so far. What I'll do is, if I get through this dungeon fairly easily, I'll uh, up the dip difficulty a bit. Whoops. There we go. Actually, there's probably someone up here. There is. Why, hello there. Would you like... Actually, would you like, uh... Some flames? What the hell was that? That sounded pretty crazy. Oh, I'm definitely going to take all this. Okay. Now... Let's go up here and... Take all that. Yeah, you know, I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to favorite the shield. But, you know, I'm going to switch to all of this. Oh, wait, steel armor. Which one's better? 
Okay. Now let's see how um my character looks with this armor. <laughs> a little bit goofy. Definitely a little bit goofy, but uh this will have to do for now. Oh yeah, that's right. Um here definitely favorite this shield. Alright. Take those. Plenty of apples. I don't have a pick, so... Can't mine that. Okay. Definitely seems like it's going to be pretty cold up here. And I can't believe I'm already slightly hungry, right? Yeah. And I lowered it down to two. I don't understand how... I'm already getting hungry again. Why, hello there. Nice. Not too bad. You know something really weird? Have I leveled yet? Nope. Not even close. Well, I say that, but I'm halfway there. Meat pie. I'll definitely take that. Okay. Okay. I do believe this is where we have to be. Ooh, we have another person there. I wonder if the shield works. Oh. <laughs> Those always seem to be pretty crazy. Pretty crazy looking. And what was that? Eastern Iron Tattoo. No, no thanks. Now, something else that I've noticed, and I may need to change this. Definitely may need to change this. Um. Those things keep... Kill move chance. That is the reason. 100%. This is probably why... This is probably why I end up killing Bellathor. I'm gonna make kill move chance like 20. I wanna try to make it pretty rare. 1 out of 5 chance seems good. Um, let's stealth and triggers. Let me see. Kill moves on match. 
matched. Kill moves triggered by you and an NPC will match the corresponding weapon types. Okay. Hmm. Kill move chance. Oh, so, okay, I see. So this was stealth and triggered. Kill move chance. 20%. Also. Dragon kill move chance. I'll do 40%. Mainly because it's not like you come across dragons all that often, so. Uh, ranged kill move chance. Do 20 for that as well. Dragon will do 40. Decapitation chance. Um, I'll do 15. Stealth. Uh, stealth and trigger. So let's see. This is chance of stealth kill moves being triggered. This one's actually going to be a little bit higher. Okay. That should be better. The kill moves shouldn't come on as often as they have been, which has been kind of actually a little bit annoying. Okay. And I'm really not going to try um, going for a uh, stealth or anything like that because I actually do that pretty often when I play this game I go for doing stealth and stuff like that and I want to try not doing that this time around well that was a kill move again Ow. Okay. And really the archery, the reason why I even have a bow and arrow in my inventory is mainly for dragons. I don't know why I took the ale. Okay. Oh, there's another one here. Painting. Well, that was pretty easy. Didn't even have to move it. Okay. Time to dive in deeper. Keep pushing the wrong button. Nothing up here. Linen wrap, I'll take that, because I think you can use that for crafting. Hmm. 
What's that guy doing? Oh, okay, well, he's clearly dying. That's what he's doing. Alright. So, snake. Whale on the end there. And snake. Okay. Snake. Snake. Whale. How did you not figure that out? It was so dang obvious. Something wrong with you. Okay. May you rest in peace, maybe. Looks like we're going down. And why is my compass... I was wondering why my compass was loaded like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Any more? should be all of them. You are floating. Empty. Thief. Get pickpocketing skill for that. Uh, why not? At least we'll be close to leveling. Probably going to have to get rid of some of those linen. But for now, I'll take as much as I can get. Okay. Is, is is that you, Bjorn, well, there's definitely someone in here. does look like a chest there. Okay. Oh boy. Spider. Man. This spider's a little bit, uh, actually difficult. Come on. Let's see what we got here. Potion. Magicka and healing. Don't let it get me. Help. Get away from me. 
Okay, it's dead. I won't. Just hold your horses. Get me out of it. Help me! Help! Okay, what can I do for you? You! Over here! You did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Where's the golden claw? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door, and the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Hand it over. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. <laughs> it's coming <laughs> loose. I can't feel it. You fool. Never should have come here. You're an idiot. Thank you for the claw. Take that. Oh, there's nothing in there. Nothing. Nothing. More linen. Okay, so we got a journal. So let's read that. Let's see what this guy was up to. All right. Um. Here we go. My fingers are trembling. The golden claw is finally in my hands, and with it, the power of the ancient Nordic heroes. Okay. That fool. Lucan Valerius had no idea that his favorite store decoration was actually the key to Bleak Falls Barrow. Now I just need to get to the Hall of Stories and unlock the door. The legend says there is a test that the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away. But that, when you have the Golden Claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. Uh-huh. Interesting. Not really. It's a very easy puzzle to solve. We all know that. But anyway, that is all the time I have for today. And in the next episode, we will complete this dungeon. And we will be on our way to hopefully leveling up and becoming stronger. And uh, not starving to death. Hopefully. But anyway, thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next episode.
Mission accomplished.